Hi everybody! Thanks for stopping by Degrees of Shining. Tonight's look is actually inspired by a Lewis Comfort Tiffany lamp, stained glass, and this is my dramatic stained glass dragonfly mask. Let me show you the inspiration. As a librarian, I always come across these wonderful books and I end up making copies and setting them aside in my fantasy folder. And so tonight's look was inspired by that and I hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to see how I did it, stay tuned. Hey guys, how are you all doing this weekend? Um, I wasn't planning on actually filming anything new, but um, I needed some cathartic, selfish me time in the studio. And also I have to kind of blame Tiny Bubbles 1841, um, Megan and Melinda Blue Fairy, uh, I think 0173. Um, both of them recently did some um, terrific looks, one of which is a glitter contest and the other one for Still Glamorous's Masquerade. Um, and I just love their work. So I, you know, you get inspired, you see other people doing fun stuff and you just wanna spend some more time in the studio. And so I'm gonna start with a, an eye look that could be worn out if I stop there. And then of course I'm just gonna go fantastical because you know what? I'm tired of doing face of the day. <laughs> Everybody's doing it, but you know, fantastical is more fun. Um, so my inspiration is uh, stained glass. I absolutely love uh, Louis uh, Tiffany Comfort, and um, if you've ever been to the Winchester House in California, there's a fantastic collection there of stained glass. Of course, I'll never be able to afford a Louis Tiffany Comfort piece ever in this lifetime, but I just, um, working in an art library, I'm always coming across wonderful texts, wonderful books with lots of fantastic images. So this is my inspiration. It is a dragonfly, and it's made up of teals and uh, cobalt and royal blue and black. And so I'm gonna start with uh, the eyes. Um, as, as always, I've uh, prepped my face ahead. I went ahead and uh, exfoliated. I moisturized with MAC Oil Control. I went ahead and put on a serum. I've been using this uh, Estee Lauder Idealist. I actually have a huge bottle of it, but uh, I was just traveling, so I still had a little bit left in this. And I should have put on some kind of a matte gel like the Monistat or MAC Matte, but I completely forgot. Uh, went ahead and powdered up, uh, mineralized skin finish. I used uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid and then some contouring with the uh, Clarins bronzer, and then, of course, prep my eyes with uh, Urban Decay's Prep and Prime. Excuse me, Urban Decay's Primer Potion. <laughs> so the next thing I need to do is go ahead and lay down a canvas, um, kind of a blank canvas for my eyes, and I'm going to use NYX's Jumbo Stick in Milk, which is a white, and I'm just gonna lay that all over my lids. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you a little bit. And I will tell you now, I'll probably start and stop because this look will, this look will take a little bit of time to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with the canvas. And I'm going to do this all the way up to my brow and out here. And just take my finger and blend it in. Okay, so now over the white, I'm going to lay down a base color of a very pretty light blue shimmer. This is Barry M's Dazzle Dust. It's number 20 and it's a baby blue color. I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush like my Sonia Kushak and I'm going to lay this all over the lid all the way up to the brow, up under the brow and all over the entire lid. Okay, so the next color I'm going to use is a pretty teal blue. This is from that duo Blue Sorcery from the Magic Mirth and Merriment collection from MAC. You can see I've used it a bit. I love both the silver and this teal, and I'm probably going to use both in this look. Same flat shader brush. I'm going to pat on some color, and then I'm going to take my spray bottle, my Fix Plus, and just spray the brush. And this is going to go on the lid up to about the crease area, and about two-thirds of the way in. And dab down by the dot, dab down by the lash line, and then up towards the crease. Okay, so I've got that on both lids from the lash line up to the crease, and now I'm going to take my pencil brush, 219, or any pencil brush, and you'll see I already have some of the, the teal on the end of that, and I've sprayed it, and now I'm just going to bring that down below my lash line, lower lash line, about two thirds. So you'll see what I did was I brought that color down below the lower lash line. And then I'm bringing it out a little bit into that outer V, just to darken that area. 
move into the crease and then the outer V area. And then I'm going to go back in with a blender brush, fluffy brush, and just go ahead and with little circular motions blend that into the crease. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and darken this area with a beautiful royal blue color. And this is from the color design palette, um, Indigo Charm from Lancome. And you'll see it's got some pretty golds. And I'm going to use this really rich royal blue. And this is a smaller crease brush, smaller tip crease brush. And I'm just dabbing a little bit of color on the tip. Tap off. And then I'm just going to concentrate this right in this outer V area onto the lid, down onto the upper lash line and just lay down a little bit of color to deepen the blue and I'll bring it down below and then I'm going to go back and blend it all in. Okay, so I have that really pretty deep royal blue blended in up into the crease and down below the lash line and just a little bit onto the upper lash line and now I'm going to take the same pencil brush and black and I'm using the black from my Hot Contrast Duo. I just love this black. It's nice and smooth and creamy and it's a mineralized shadow. Just on the tip and now I'm going to deepen that area right in here with just a little bit of black and I'm just going to again concentrating on that the most outer part of the V down onto the lash line and then I'm going to blend that okay, in. So I've got a little bit of black in there now and now I'm going to make this inner area pop even more and I'm going to use the silver mineralized shadow side of that blue sorcery. So this is really bright and sparkly and it's got some glitter in it. And I'm going to take the same flat shader brush and I'm just going to dab in the silver. And then I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus again or Fix and spray that so that it becomes a little damp. It sets it, it keeps it from falling out all over the face. And then I'm just going to pop that right over the lighter blue color on that inner third. Okay, so I have that on the inner third of the eye up onto my brow. And I'm now I'm going to take my little Sonia Krishak pencil, which you see I have a little bit of glitter on there, and then I sprayed it with Fix Plus, and I'm going to bring this from the tear duct down to the lower lash line inner third. Make that part of the eye pop open. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so now I am just blending out a little bit of silver that I put up onto the brow bone underneath my eyebrow. Use silver fog. You could use any light silver or even something like the hip pencil, which I absolutely love. We could actually do that. Just stick a little bit, blend that in with finger. Okay, so you can see it's a pretty dramatic look with the royal blue and the cobalt and the teal green and the silver. And this is where I would complete the look with a liquid liner on the upper lash line, probably running from right in here all the way out with a small flick or a wing. Then I would curl my lashes, throw on a moderately dramatic pair of false eyelashes and then some mascara to bring the two sets of lashes together and make them stay. And then I would do like a neutral cheek and a neutral lip, get dressed, throw my earrings on, and head out, out, out the door, you know. But instead I'm going to go to part two, which is that dramatic stained glass masquerade look um, with glitter and rhinestones and sequins, and it is based on a dragonfly. And so if you'd like to see how I do that look, go ahead and click on for part two.